all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend tarot so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your pick a card reading so we're going to take a look and see what's going on with the person on your mind if you guys want to book something personal i do have a promotion going on there's five spots so i'll leave it on the video here as well as in the description box okay so let's take a look we're going to start with pile number one here this is pile two this is three so Let's see. Pile number one. How is this person on your mind feeling about you right now? You're breaking down the walls around my heart that I built around my heart. We have Justice. Could be a Libra. The Two of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. We have Mute. And we have Increase Cycle. Okay. Can you guys see? A little bit better. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like right now, pile number one, the way that this person is sort of perceiving this connection is like, they feel like if they move towards you or if they build some sort of life with you, that it would really enhance their life, okay? This is how I'm interpreting this increase card. If you notice, there's a road that's going all the way down to this mansion and on the way there's these jewels. I don't think that this is about like financial gain, although maybe it could be if you guys have a lot of money, but I think it's more that this person is feeling like they would gain a lot by pursuing this connection. Um, However, there's something that is causing this person to resist this, which is weird, right? Because it's kind of like, it's like, okay, so I see that this could really lead to something positive or I could really see that this would help me grow or evolve, but then why am I avoiding it? Two of Swords, this is this person's energy. Like they're avoiding this even though they know that it's something that could be good for them. Okay. Now part of it, maybe like, I don't know, but with the justice card, it could be that maybe they're avoiding this because they know that they have to like bring some sort of balance or they need to apologize about something first. That could be for some of you guys. I do want to clarify this though. Why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here? Yeah. Look at that. See like the two of swords and the two of pentacles, both of these cards are someone who is unsure up and down. Like there's something that this person, they're wishy-washy. I don't know what it is. So, okay, we'll try to figure that out in a minute, but let's just move forward because I don't know exactly what's going on there. Maybe some of you guys do. I don't know why they're stuck in this Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Um, right now with the Mute card, they're not really communicating this to you. They're not telling you what they're thinking and stuff. Um, they may not even be communicating with you at all. So some of you guys may not even be hearing from this person. But however, behind the scenes, you are breaking down these walls that this person has built around their heart, okay? They have a lot of walls around their heart. Um, I definitely feel like this is someone who is very guarded when it comes to love, okay? And they're going through this shift. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, and I really do think that you are helping this person go through the shift, like, I mean, you are. They're definitely realizing that this connection is helping them just progress, I think spiritually, and they really do feel like they could have a lot of abundance with you when it comes to love. They really do feel like the two of you could have a really good future. So let's find out what is this Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Because I know you guys are probably dying to know. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. What is this? What is the issue here? Like, why are, why are they so confused? The Knight of Pentacles. I think it's just like... um. I wouldn't even say it's a confusion. I think it's a hesitation. It's like, you know when you want something, but you're reluctant because maybe it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big change. So you want it, but you're also like, oh my gosh, this is kind of scary. Like, this is going to be a big change. So the Knight of Pentacles makes me feel like this person would need to take things really slow. Like, they would need to pace themselves. And maybe by, like, avoiding this right now, it's their way of trying to slow down this. But ultimately, I do feel like this person is going to make things right with you with the Justice card. So if they're not speaking, they do plan on speaking. And they do plan on clarifying things. They may just take a little bit of time to get out of this stagnant energy. But I do feel like they have pretty good expect or not expectations pretty good intentions at this point um they just may be a slow mover 
Yeah, so clarifying mute, we have the three of wands. So again, this person is taking their time, okay? I think temporarily they have turned their back on this connection. So some of you may be a little bit frustrated by this or frustrated with this um, because this person may be avoiding things right now. It's kind of what I get. They're kind of avoiding things, but there is a lot going on for this person that you cannot see. And just understand that maybe this person processes things differently than you. I feel like they process emotional things very slowly, and this is why it takes them a long time to maybe make decisions, to get to some sort of, you know, um, conclusion. But ultimately, they're getting there, okay? So that is what I'm seeing for pal number one, so I hope this resonated. If you guys wanna book something personal, I do have a special promotion going on right now. The information is in the description box. Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal here, how does this person feel? I test you to see if you really love me. We have the six of wands. The page of wands, Gemini, Libra, or no, sorry, whoa, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Magician, we have a Union, and we have Discovery. Okay. Hmm. Pile number two. This person has been looking a long time for someone like you. A long time. So with this discovery card here, this guy is lifting up this sort of like jewel and he's like so surprised that he found this like rare treasure. So this is how this person feels about you. I don't think they were expecting to meet someone like you, but they're really seeing you as very rare, very special, like wow, they hit the jackpot when it comes to you. And this is someone who really desires a union with you. This person really desires to come together with you if you guys are not already together. Um, however, they are creating some issues in this connection, I feel. And I think that, so we've got the Magician, the Six of Wands, Page of Wands, and I test you to see if you really love me. I think these all kind of connect to each other, and I'll explain why. Pile number two. Most likely, where you have issues with this person is in how they communicate, okay? The reason why is because I feel like this person is very used to using manipulative tactics. Even if they're not even consciously aware of it, this is just something that they do and it's like their way of testing you. It's not healthy, but this is what they're doing or they have done in the past. And I feel like this person allows their ego and their pride to really affect how they communicate. They're definitely immature when it comes to how they communicate. So you probably already know that, okay? If you know that that's not the case, then this is probably not your reading because that's a really clear message that I'm getting. Um, they're poor communicators. And the reason why is because they use their ego to navigate communication and it's a way to kind of test you. So let's clarify this. Like, I test you to see if you really love me. The fact, So this person does this because they feel like I think this person almost assumes abandonment. Like they just assume everyone's gonna abandon me at some point. So I think they test you and they they do things like to see like if I do this, are they gonna stay? Like what if I do what if I do something that could potentially hurt them? Will they stay or are they just gonna abandon me like everyone else? Again, it's not healthy. This is not healthy. So just recognize that in this person. Like you may need to call them out on this behavior because it is not healthy. Because this may trigger you um, and your wounds if you have them. So, but this is where this person is at. It's like they feel like you're very special. They want a union if you're not already in union. But you really gotta watch out for how this person deals with you. And now keep in mind, like, I don't think this person is vindictive. I think that this person has abandonment wounds. And in their attempt to not get abandoned, I feel like this person maybe has left you feeling that way, Five of Pentacles. Because what's interesting is we have the two people out here in the Five of Pentacles. Maybe both of you guys have abandonment wounds, actually. Hmm. Let's pull another card. How does this person feel about pile number two? How does this person feel about pile number two? Scared. The moon in reverse. Ooh. 
they're terrified. But this is not, I don't think they're aware of how afraid that this connection makes them feel. It's subconscious. The moon is the subconscious fears. I think that this person, they, they do things in this connection that almost like sabotage it. That almost may make you think like, does this person even want to be with me? But this is their fears. It's almost like, okay, I'll give you an example. They may think to my, themselves, I want to call pile number two. But then they deliberately choose not to. And they might not even understand why. It's almost like a sabotaging sort of energy. And I think this is coming from the subconscious. For Sometimes they may realize what they're doing, but a lot of times they may not realize why they're doing what they're doing. But I feel like this is like their testing behavior. And I think for you guys, it probably gets confusing. Okay, but ultimately this person does see you as a treasure. But doesn't mean that you should accept this behavior, just saying <laughs> as a side note. But anyway, so that's pile number two. Let's move on to pile number three. Okay, if you guys chose this crystal, their message is I'm feeling empty right now. Seven of Pentacles. We have Joyous Fun. The Two of Wands. The Fool. And we have a New Direction. Okay. Pile number two. Or sorry, pile number three. Okay. Wow. Interesting pile here. Hmm. Okay. Give me a minute actually with this one. Okay, so if you didn't already know, <laughs> this person is quite wounded emotionally, okay? Definitely inner child wounds for sure. There's a lot of inner child wounds. Now, sometimes this is what's confusing about inner child wounds is like, Someone could look like a grown adult, they could seem mature, they could seem like they've got it all together, they got a job, they got a house, they got a car, all these things. But when it comes to their emotional world, they may still be stuck at like four or six or seven or whatever it may be. So this person is dealing with some inner child wounds. Maybe you know this already. And I feel like this really has impacted them when it comes to this connection. And inside of themselves, they feel very empty, right? Um, I, I feel like this person would love to be able to give so much more to you, but they feel like they don't even have it inside of themselves to give at this point. For some of you guys, this person actually may have walked away from you and you, don't, you didn't know why. Because you might have thought like, everything was going fine. Because even with the joyous fun here, I feel like this person has so much fun with you. They love hanging out with you. They love being in your presence. You guys could really have like, you could click really well. Maybe you have good banter. They really enjoy their time with you. But I do think that they walked away. Okay, so this person has been thinking about reaching out to you. They've been thinking about calling you, texting you, saying something to you. This person here has their phone. This person here has their phone. Let's get a message. What is it that they've been thinking about saying to you? What is it that this person wants to say to you? I'm sorry for my hot and cold behavior. Yeah, okay, makes sense, right? Like confusing but again I feel like I did explain it in the beginning that this person has deep inner child wounding and sometimes that can cause people to do things that don't really make sense so I feel like this person has been hot and cold with you currently or in the past but this is mainly because they are feeling quite empty inside of themselves it's very difficult for someone to give to someone what they don't have inside of themselves so they have thought about reaching out to you and saying like I'm sorry like it's not you it's not your fault I'm, you know, I'm up and down emotionally. I'm empty sometimes. Sometimes it's like I don't have anything to give. Like even with the seven of pentacles, this person here 
has the watering can, right? Which, what does that represent? Watering the plants, nourishing something. This person is struggling to even nourish themselves, so how can they give? They're literally not even giving. See how this person is standing? A little bit odd, right? You got the seven of pentacles, she's carrying a water can, but she's crossing her arms and neglecting the plants. So, they really do want to apologize for this though, because I feel like this person maybe didn't handle things the best here is what I'm feeling. They might have left you kind of confused. Let's get another message for pile three. What does your person want to tell you? If you saw the real me, would you run? So this person is really afraid that, you know, the stuff that they've been going through in their past and just how they are as a person in general and their emotional state, it's like, if you saw the real them, would you run? So they might have actually, yeah, this, this feels like a classic case of like, I'm gonna leave you before you leave me. And that's what this person did. Or that's what this person is thinking about doing if you're connected to them right, that, right now. Okay, so, that is what I have for you guys. So I truly, truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book your own personal reading, I do have a special promotion. I'll leave it in the description box. But I'm sending you guys absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.